Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how to convert a decimal fraction number to hexadecimal number. Now let's look at an example. Let's say we have a number that is 0 0.03125 and the base of this number is 10 and we are going to convert this one into hexadecimal, okay? Now to convert this one into hexadecimal what we do is we multiply this number until we get the fraction is equal to 0 or we can stop it until we get enough numbers, okay? because we multiply this one by 16 because the base of this hexadecimal is equal to 16 if it's octal you have to multiply by 8 but if it's hexadecimal we have to multiply this one by 16 until we get the fraction is equal to 0 okay now let's try to let's multiply this one by 16 so first uh, I'm going to multiply okay let's multiply 0 0.03125 multiplied by 16 if you multiply you are going to get 0 0.50000 so we just pick up this 0 0.5 and uh, we multiply this one again by 16 okay 0 0.5 multiplied by 16 and that's going to give us 8.0 so here we are getting fraction is equal to 0 okay we don't have any number after this decimal point so we can stop it right here so this is going to be the conversion we have to go from top to bottom okay and these two numbers are going to come after the point so 0 0.08 is going to be the conversion of this decimal number so we can write 0 0.03125 base 10 is equal to 0 0.08 base 16 and that's how we do the conversion okay now let's look at another example with integer okay let's say we have a number that is 268.62 times 10 okay this is only for the fraction part if we have a fraction we do this one but for the integer we divide this one by until we get 0 so let's pick up this integer part that is 268 we divide this one by 16 because for hexadecimal base is 16 so we divide this one by 16 and we keep doing that until we get this 0 okay if you divide this one by 16 that's going to give you 16 and the base is I mean the remind, reminder is going to be 12 and again we can divide this one by 16 that's going to give us 1 and the reminder is going to be 0 again we can divide this one by 16 and that's going to give us 0 and the reminder is going to be 1 so finally we will end up with 1012 okay 1012 but uh, when we do the conversion in hexadecimal we have to know the number system like for hexadecimal it goes like that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and after 9 we are going to have a b c d e f okay a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 and f is 15 so it goes like that okay so it goes like that okay let me see whether i have okay one two three okay so we have 15 and let's look at this one here we have one zero twelve so instead of 12 when we have more than nine we have to replace that one with alphabet letters so here we have 12 so we are going to replace that 12 with c so this is going and we, we have to go from bottom to top for this one so this is going to be one zero c okay and this is going to be the conversion for the integer part now we have decimal part i mean fraction part that is 0 0.62 so we have to calculate we have to cal convert this one into convert this one into hexadecimal so to convert this one again we are going to multiply this one until we get the fraction is equal to 0 or we stop until we get enough number like after we get enough number 0 0.62 times 80 16 that's going to give us 9.92 and then we pick up this 0 0.92 and multiply this one by 16 and that's going to give us 14.72 and 0 0.72 we multiply this one by 16 and that's going to give us 11.52 okay so for this one we go from top to bottom so this is going to be 9 14 11 9 is 9 will remain and uh, 14 is we, we just pick up the integer part okay decimal part we, we shouldn't pick up so 9 14 11 14 is e and uh, 11 is 15 i mean uh, 11 not 11 is 15 11 is b so 9 e b so this is going to be 
10 C point 9 E B. So that's going to be the conversion of this 0 0.03115 base 10 to base 16. Okay. And that's how we do that. I hope this helps. Oh, I pick up the wrong one. This is for 268.62. Two sixty-eight point six two base ten, and that's how we do the conversion from decimal decimal fraction to hexadecimal. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. This is one. This is two.